power of night. Could use the fists. Care to accompany me? Think he can take me, boyo? This ought to be interesting. How I love to have these unexpected little run-ins with you, love. You are just so spontaneous, and I have a liking for that sort of thing. No love without pain. Had enough? Why, nephew, you've procured the rod of fishing, I detect. Fine handiwork, if I say so myself. Its line is nigh invisible and causes denizens of my domain to flock to it like mortals to temples of mine. Good fortune with that thing. the sea. Break all the pots you like. Ahoy there. Hey sir, thought this might ease your burden for a while. Now hold a moment, Highness. I cannot accept something like this. Not without giving back a little something in return, that is. Thanks for that, sir. Sisyphus, have you had run-ins with Tisiphone the Fury here before? She isn't much for conversation, I don't think. Tisiphone? Why, yes, I have, in fact, Prince said. She's visited on multiple occasions, truth be told. So she's back, is she? She is, although I think she's back to deal with me. I'll have to keep her plenty busy just in case. Appreciate it, Prince. Of all the Fury sisters, she's the one I would least care to see. But if she does stop by, you know... That's how it goes. I got you covered, Prince. Thank you, mate. Patroclus. So that's his name. Olympus, I accept this message. I feel fabulous. Please be Meg. Not quite. <laughs> if you're no god, you're nothing but a piece of trash, born into all of this, <laughs> and you don't even want it. You seem to have me all figured out, and here I thought we were still getting to know each other. Well, you want to know what I want? Here, I'll show you. Must be Eurydice. That's a lot of coin. Yeah, what do you want? Oh! Eurydice, how long have you been down here anyway, if you don't mind my asking? Seems like you're pretty settled in. It's quite a lovely place. How long have I been down here, hon? Huh, I don't have the faintest. You lose your sense of time once you're a shade, or maybe once there's not a sun or moon over your head. But yeah, I found myself a decent spot and fixed it up a bit. Coming right up. Ooh, that's good. Bye. Come again. Lady Demeter. Good Lady Demeter, you've shown me warmth and generosity, and I am very grateful for it. Please accept this as a small token of my appreciation. An offering well suited for the season there, young Zagreus. In turn, as you are honorable and obedient, you'll have from me what the mortals have not. I'm in your debt, great goddess Demeter. 
blood-like stain of pomegranate on you, Zagreus. A hardy fruit resistant to a winter's chill. How fascinating they survive down there. Oh, that woke me up. All aboard. That's settled then. Uncle Poseidon, it's been excellent to know you, sir, so please, this is for you. Oh, I am positively moved by your affection, little nephew. Though I think I have just the thing for you in turn. Here, I shall transfer it to you. I thank you, Uncle. In the name of Hades. The ocean's fury. and multitudinous riches of both the surface and the underworld are hoarded by the river boatman Charon, whose services are often tendered to the wealthiest within Elysium. He really gets around. The boatman Charon ought to invest into a boat of more substantial size if he's to keep up with my work, my kin. Poseidon got to you before I did his. I let him. He's under the impression he's as spry as ever. <laughs> Godspeed. You have met the champion, the king. Let us see if you are fit to face him once again. You mean face both of you together, which doesn't seem particularly fair. Life isn't particularly fair, short one, nor death. I'd have expected you to know as much. But here, have your fair fight. Beware. Prone, stand down. I respect your strength, short one. The champion of Elysium awaits. Until such time. Who's the short one now, huh? What do we have here? Ah, my kin. I sensed fresh bloodshed from you recently, the real kind. For you have slain the living near the surface, have you not? Mere vermin, yes, but good enough for me. God's power. Got to keep at it. to spend some of these gems with the house contractor. What's the giant pact posted out in the courtyard, Father? You offering me a job? Perish the thought. It's so that all your toiling can be more painful, nothing more. Why would I want my toiling to be more painful than it already is? Who knows, boy, or better yet, who cares? To make the mortals up there worship you for all your labors? 
Go on, then. Go get yourself dispatched some more. So I can make well certain that my realm can properly contain you. It's a deal. <laughs> Cerberus is preoccupied with scratching and biting at himself. Who was next? Where's our court musician? Fish delivery for the head chef. Out with it. Here's all I caught. Fair market value. What do you want from me? Leave me alone. We've nothing to discuss here anymore. I was just checking up on you. Just let me know if you wanted to talk for any reason. I'm not interested in having company, especially from you. You stay the hell away while I'm off duty. Anything else? Anything good? Denied. What news, spirit? Next. And after that, Dusa, you are to clean the rafters once again and prune the gardens thoroughly. By then it should be time to tend the kitchens and sweep the lounging area a second time. Y yes right away. Poor Dusa. I think I'll try this one. Ready to go or what? Little tip, boyo. You find any coinage while you're out there, you'll be sure to pawn it off to that old Kiron. Bowman guy, use it or lose it, pal. Use it or lose it. Thanks, mate. Note to self, always spend everything I earn instead of ever saving. What are these shades up to now? Where'd Orpheus go? A hearing is now in session. Work is approved upon my father's name. Not like he's paying any heed. You are distracting me. Contractor, I would ask that you pursue this job. I'll be excited to see the result. I shall review this work once the time permits. 